We're hunting the Orange Free State in South Africa. And there are a ton of Plains Games animals here, so not exactly sure what we're going out for. Just because there's so many, we'll go out and start glassing. And the cool thing is because there's so many opportunities, if you see something good, you can go right after it. So that's the plan for this morning. Ready? Ready. I think uh, what we're going to do, we'll get some lunch and then after lunch we'll have a bit of a short uh, siesta, mm -hmm. catch up from a little bit of sleep from last night and we'll go out and maybe get some more footage, yeah? Sounds good. While there's still some good light here. So you're telling me Master PH Jason Stone's a little tired from last night? No, no, I'm still good to go but I believe the cameraman's a little bit tired, yeah, yeah he needs a bit of a nap. Oh, he's alright. <laughs> Nice run in front of us. Uh, he's he's the one walking to the left. We're gonna have to shoot pretty quickly because he's he's not gonna stop and he's gonna be out of here. Came across the giant roan this afternoon. Able to get pretty close, put a great shot on him. Using a Hornady expandable 300 grain bullet, and I mean it just put a wallop. So I know it's he didn't go very far. Yeet. A roan here in South Africa. Pretty big bodied animal, great coloring on this one, great length, everything you'd want. Let's continue on a great hunt here. Try to stop. Well, you got the free hand. You got a shooting stick with you? I can free hand. I didn't bring shooting sticks, but I think you can shoot from my shoulder, yeah? I have my tripod. Camera you tripod. got your tripod? You have a monopod? I do. I can make a monopod. A monopod or a tripod. I can try that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe if we can sneak up to them. I think if they see this vehicle, they're going to take off. They're already getting a little twitchy. Yeah, I'll make a monopod and put the. Uh, fluid head on it without the tripod or the plate so you got a little okay. cradle in there. Mm -hmm. Should work. I'm gonna do it, huh? What does PH stand for, Jason? <laughs> Professional hobo. Yeah. That was like page one shooting sticks. Be a kilometer away and they're running like absolute crazy things to get close to one of these guys is a full day's job Okay, he 
is the third one from the left is at the back now. Sorry, far right still, far right. 312. Right out to the front there. He's the one on the far right hand yep, side. Ready? Yeah, let him have it. Give him a game. awesome one to end the day got in on a giant ostrich which I have to admit trying to get close enough was an extreme challenge but able to do it and I can't stress how tough they are took a couple of shots with the 375 just to put it down I mean extremely tough can't wait to actually go see how big this bird is Wow! absolutely amazing way bigger than what I thought and I can't even kind of explain the feathers that they have. Whew, huge feet. There it is. Ostrich in South Africa, pretty cool. to an amazing day here in South Africa. As you can tell, the sun's starting to set and I can't, I can't put it into words. Just plains game hunting in Africa is awesome. When you go out, you never know what you're gonna get into and that's exactly what happened today. Again, South Africa, plains game hunting, amazing day. Just so awesome. Well, we're heading out tonight, gonna do some predator hunting. As you can tell, I got the 375 set for solids and then I've got shotgun with uh, BBs. So we're pretty much ready for everything. We're gonna let some lead fly, yeah? All right. Absolutely. And you were saying earlier that this is one of the better spots for cats. Yeah, it's a very, very good area for cats, uh, especially caracal and serval. Very, very good area. So hopefully we come right tonight. Everything's in our favor. It's nice and dark. There's no moon out. Uh, the wind is very quiet. So hopefully we, we find something good tonight. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it move. tonight looking for different predators and ran in to a serval haven't been going very long which as the guy said is probably one of the most difficult ones to actually get here so that's good luck first one I mean, just gorgeous coloring and markings huh? oh there's a big hole in the middle of this football Well, we're continuing to cruise along and Jason spotted this giant cat right at the base of the tree down by the river and just an absolute toad. Well, just wrapped up an absolutely amazing night here with two servals, one giant male, one giant female. Um, as Jason was saying earlier, earlier, these are extremely rare here. So to get two in the same night and one, this giant male, just a heck of a nightmare. Yeah. 